What up players, it's Mantis, and tonight I am bringing you some TDM gameplay on the map Freight. And I really just want to talk to you guys personally real quick. Because today was kind of an interesting day. Many big upsets. Many big stomp downs on teams. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, I'm actually referring to COD Champs. What is this unsuspecting noob doing? Oh man, getting the back shots right there, missing them. But yeah, Call of Duty Championships, it has been a journey. I already feel like I've ran a, a mile or something. A mile of COD time. Tomorrow I'm going to feel like I ran three, I feel like. But I don't know if you've been watching, but I hope you have because there have been some amazing games. Look at these noobs just chillaxing. They're not ready for what I'm bringing tonight. But one of the biggest things that really took me by surprise was actually a team that is really what I'm starting to feel like is they're like the Tiger Woods of Call of Duty Esports. And if you don't know what I mean by that reference, everybody knows who Tiger Woods is. You can talk to anybody and they're like, I know who that dude is, whatever. But I feel like Optic Gaming is beginning to transcend their sport. Their fan base is so vast. It's like... It's just ridiculous. But with that comes this other added pressure. I mean, could you imagine having a nation? It's almost like a small nation on your backside all the time. Just calling you, telling you this, telling you that. And, I mean, I bet you the stress is real. But this weekend, these dudes have stepped up. And they have showed some heart. I mean, it has been... A team in the rebuilding phase, I feel like, for the last couple of months. You know, they went through a couple players. Scump left for Envy. Then uh, Saints and some other people joined. Ricky left. I mean, it was just a bunch of ups and downs. Nate Shot's going, what is going down right now? He had no idea. And they finally got a winning squad, in my opinion. With the addition of Clayster... And money B, the embos. I mean, it is just, it's one of those things where I feel like they, they just have found it. They found their groove. And hopefully tomorrow they will continue with the domination. Because they are already guaranteed top three. They've solidified their name in the top three teams of Call of Duty around the world. And there have been some battles. I mean, it was just... I feel like you watch some people and it's just like it's kind of boring but when you watch optic i don't know what it is they can't help but bring you in it's like watching tiger woods you just know it's it's on the verge of being so good but at the same time what is going on is it even right it's it's almost wrong at times you feel like you're you're invested in something when you're watching them and so that's kind of a, a strange situation just to give you the play-by-play, -play, the play-back, Optic this morning had their, their pool play match, the first one of the day against Epsilon Esports, and they lost the game. Of course, the green wall is standing strong, but everybody else is already, the haters coming on strong. Dude, Optic is terrible. This is not going to happen. They're just, what is going on? And I mean, I think everybody in a way is like, oh no, is this going to happen? Is this what's going to take place? It's not going to go like that, is it? And I honestly think the best thing that could have happened to those guys was a loss at 8.30 in the morning to get them just psyched. To get them ready. Prepare them for what was coming. And so after that, they go on to 3-0. That's right, 3-0 Team Caliber. A team that had not even dropped a match, lead, or sorry, even dropped a round leading up to that game so that alone is already like all right i'm feeling it now this is this is that was exciting because they just laid down the law on those kids and i was kind of like i mean i i was a fan of team caliber i mean i but when it comes down to optic you're like you're not going to go against them it's just it's impossible so anyway it goes down to that then they go up to face sb for top six and they start off strong in that game too. I mean, it was like they go up 2-0. Quick, real quick, just easy victories. I mean, not easy, obviously, but, you know, well-fought battles. 
showing their dominance, and then it gets interesting. They lose two games, and in the middle of, I believe it was their domination game on Sovereign, and Clayster and Nadeshot got into it. I mean, you can tell through the through the booth windows. I mean, you obviously can't hear what's going on inside their soundproof booths and all. But you could just tell on their face something was it had upset them. And you're going, oh no, what is this? This isn't gonna be the this isn't gonna be the nail in the coffin, is it? This they gotta move on, they gotta keep going. They can't let a silly argument ruin their vibe. Just throw their COD champs, you know, dreams out the window. And sure enough, they lose that match. Then they go on to lose a blitz game. And you're like, oh man, so it comes down to a game five. Going down into the final rounds, they have to take it. It's a, it was another S and D, of course, and it was on Warhawk, and they just took it to them. It was great. They win the game. It was absolutely amazing. Great to see. But at the end of the day, what I learned from it was, my goodness, this team is good. This team is fun to watch, enjoyable. I mean, you almost, when you're going through that, I mean, all these game fives and, and series, you kind of learn to just enjoy this team. It's like, you know, I I wasn't so sure about Embos or anything. I was like, oh, who's this kid? I don't, who is this money B? But at the end of the day, I mean, that kid's awesome. He just, he holds it down. He's nice and quiet. I like that. Clayster, loud, that vocal leader. It's great. Nade shot, of course, the... The unsung hero, or maybe the sung hero, I don't know. I mean, he's got million subscribers on YouTube. But what more do you need to know? And then, of course, the scumpy, the mastermind of destruction, the king. So, at the end of the day, that's what you learn. I mean, it is just, it has been enjoyable to watch. I hope you guys tune in tomorrow. Complexity Live versus Optic. It's going to be the winner's match. Who will go on to the grand finals? It is going to be crazy. They're already guaranteed top three. So one of those teams will be in the finals, the grand championships, going on to win the $400,000 in the million dollar Call of Duty champ. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, leave, a, leave me some feedback. If not, it's all okay. But tune in tomorrow, MLG.TV, if you're interested in checking out these games. It will be sure to amaze work, well but i hope you enjoyed this this has been your boy mantis talk to you later peace